Hi, this is Kathy Cooks and welcome to my channel. I am going to be showing you how to take ingredients from your house and turn them into some spectacular weeknight meals. Heck, they're not just for weeknight, they're for any night. And I want you to stay tuned. Please subscribe below because when you do this, you are not only supporting me, but by doing that, you will get reminders if you click that bell. Once you get alerts, you'll be able to watch every episode on how I'm going to shop my pantry, refrigerator, and freezer and get some amazing meals on the table for myself, my family, and friends. Okay, taking inventory for what's for dinner. Um, so you have chicken that needs to be used. Maybe this will be lunch for us. That's chicken pie pie. Yesterday's salad, we'll eat that for lunch with the ramen I made a couple days ago. What's my produce look like? We've got lettuce, a carrot, an onion. Oh, these are for my dad's birthday. Tomato, uh, caprese salad. We'll have that and chop that up. Trying to eat more protein. Looks like I need some protein. Oh, they, okay, these are chicken breasts. Um, ground chicken, got some edamame, a um, bunch of veggies. I got some protein blends. Maybe I could do something with that. And this is my chicken I like to do a quick chicken parm with. So maybe, maybe we'll use these that I got in BOGO and put the rotisserie chicken in. And maybe we can, I don't know, either Asian these up or Italian these up with some Parmesan cheese, Asian them up with some soy sauce. We'll see, but we're gonna use these tonight and the chicken. Now I had never used these bird's eye products before. Normally in the frozen vegetable section, I have a couple items I always get. Peas, corn, a mixed vegetable, and sometimes green beans. Also, there is a mix called veggies for soup or veggies for stew. Those have so many good chopped vegetables in them and are a great key thing to keep in your freezer so that when you wanna to throw together a quick soup, those are what you go to. I thought out the veggies, put it in a pan, put my chicken on top of that. And then I had leftover tomatoes with basil that had olive oil, salt and pepper, and a little drizzle of balsamic vinegar. So I laid those on top of my bird's eye vegetables with the chicken and put it in the oven. Now I read what was in the bird's eye vegetables and it said a garlic sauce. Lesson number one that I should know taste it before you bake it. Said garlic sauce, it was lacking. So if you're just using that, you're gonna be like, wow, this is really bland. Um, so what I would do is I would have added more to it to zhish it up. I would have maybe put some olive oil, garlic, and um, sometimes olive oil is a great thing to boost flavor with some you know, garlic and salt and pepper. That might've been all you need. What would have been great in here since mozzarella cheese is so mild is to have put in Parmesan cheese over it. Parmesan, especially Parmigiano Reggiano is so pungent. That would have probably been all you needed to pow that into a different atmosphere because ours was all right, but yours could be much better. So taste everything taste as you go I got rid of some old caprese salad i was able to get just enough chicken off the bone of that rotisserie so try to find this week one day that you shop your pantry and try to come up with a meal and just keep doing that as a challenge and you might find that three days a week you're doing it and as you watch these episodes, you're gonna learn what you like to have on hand all the time that are, it's gonna make this so much more delicious. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Please, again, subscribe below and continue watching these episodes on how you can put together some amazing meals without feeling stress 
from a re long recipe and that your family and you are going to love. You can do it.